G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now this very large and suspicious box addressed to bloody Bass the Cat arrived in the mail today. I wonder what she's been buying. Usually she gets on bloody uh, eBay and buys giant bloody you know, boxes of cat food and especially fish. I end up with hundreds of tins of bloody fish in the place. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's inside. Now this was a dream kit. I have wanted this ever since I was a little boy, which is quite a long time ago, at least half a century ago, I can tell you, more than that. So, this is actually sealed still in its factory cellophane, so it is it is rare. This is a very rare kit, by the way, um, very, very rare, it's very hard to find, and when you do find it, they want a bloody arm and a leg. But um, as the cat, bless her furry little paws, managed to find me one, and um, she snaffled this up. Um, it's actually in Australia, all places. Wouldn't think. Normally, you expect to have to go overseas. Here we go. Look, look. This is, this is it. It is no longer mint. That's it. It's a hundred dollars off the price. Hopper, like that. Yes, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So, there we go. <laughs> what do you get? Look, it's 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 electronic light and sound. Oh goodness me. Atomic submarine. I wonder if you get plutonium in it. Yes, well that could be a problem. <laughs> um, oh look, let's just open it. Who knows? Let's see what's inside here. There's so little information about this kit online that this is going to be a surprise for you and me. Oh look, here we go. Atomic submarine, electronic light and sound. Oh that's, that's, that's exciting straight away. Um, well, it's a good size. It's a good size. Look at that. All in plastic bags, and obviously that's for batteries. Yes. <gasps> Look. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be really good. All right, what I'll do is I'll get everything out of here and I'll open up these bags and we'll have a closer look because this does look exciting. Stand by for action. Anything can happen in the next half hour. As you can see, I've bought all the parts out of their plastic bags. Well, there are only three bags, really. Uh, one for the sprues and um, one for the top, the bottom of the hole. And interestingly, that's just not even cleaned up and dry fitted together. And actually, the fit is not bad. It does. It will require a little bit of a clean up, but um, it's going to be a snug little fit. And there's virtually no flash on that. There's a little bit at the back here where the impeller is that I'll need to clean out. But um, it's looking good already. <laughs> it's not going to take much to build. Honestly, there's not much to this kit. There's a um, little bag here with decals and um, some of the wiring. And I'll talk about that in a sec as we go through the instructions. You get um, a sprue of clear parts. And yes, Basque, I know. Thank you. Thank you for buying it. Yes, probably Basque the cat wants to have it, so... Um, I mean, we're not even going to talk about a pay or anything like that, opacity. Um, it's it's just a little plastic kit. We'll see whether we'll use that or we'll um, put in our own um, windows, which we might make from acetate. Who knows? But um, the impeller's quite nice. It's quite pretty. But it will be jammed in and fixed according to the instructions. We'll have a look at that in a sec. And there's these two little things here. I don't even know what they are. They're still on the side. Have to do some more research. But um, we'll, we'll look at that as we go through instructions. And here's the rest of the plastic. All in all, there are only two dozen plastic parts. That's it. Not a lot to build this kit. Um, there's not much to it. But all the fun's going to be in painting it and wiring it. And um, there's going to be some scratch pudding. We'll talk about that too shortly. As what we want to do now is, let's have a look at the instructions. Now, I'll just move this great big bloody fish out of the way. You know, Bass probably bought this because she thought she was buying an actual stingray. A big fish. And she's sourly disappointed now that it's another bloody plastic kit, and especially a submarine, which she's complained about my sub lame beans, as she calls them. <laughs> now, you get the instructions, right? Uh, yes. Um, and again, it's huge. It's, it's, it, it's like an old bloody newspaper, right? Well, uh, fill that seat. You get an addendum to part five. So part five needed some um, rewriting, apparently. Um, the only thing I can see as far as part five goes, which is just the um, adding of some of the wiring here, is they've got these two characters back to front because they're shown here around the other way. So that's probably either indicating red and black or left and right or whatever. And 
They've got to ask that place. So there you go. That's all there is. It's not going to make any difference to me because I can't read any of that shit anyway. Okay, well, we'll try and get through these instructions, even though they're bloody huge for my, for my tiny camera space. So it's all in Japanese. Yes. Now, I sort of did some research, and um, Doisha, if that's how you pronounce it, Doisha, um, do, do you, I, I won't do any more, I won't embarrass myself. Yeah, this company, right, <laughs> they, um, they've they been around since the 50s and they started making plastic kits in 1962. Yes, they're ancient, these guys. So I don't know how old this is. Well, obviously Stingray came out in the late 60s, so I imagine the original moulding for this is, is probably as old as that. And at that time, um, Jerry Anderson stuff was becoming famous worldwide. Thunderbirds really got him in Americas and got him all over the world. And no doubt the Japanese, who um, big into anime and all that sort of thing, they went huge on this as well. So that's probably why we get quite a few um, sort of Jerry Anderson kits out of Japan. Because... Um, there's a big following for that sort of thing there. Anyhow, uh, you get sprue app of what there is. The top and the bottom, which I've shown you, already dry fit together fairly well and not going to require much cleanup. You get one sprue there with your um, your main parts, and there's only about 18 on there, um, of which a lot I don't even think I'll bother using. And this is the clear sprue that I showed you before, and um, you get the remainder of the parts there. Now, the electronics, um, it's not motorised. I'll sort of... Thought it might have a motor for the for the motor, a motor for the impeller, but um, you get you get some wires. <laughs> you get uh, two LEDs, uh, a red and blue, which is rather nice. Um, you get some decals, so you get the three which goes up on the fin, and you get stingray that sits on the side, so they're, they're nice. Now I haven't opened these other packets yet, and I won't. But in here are all the bits and pieces you need, so you can set up the switch and the battery assembly so that's okay and then this here is the speaker so it must be wired into that circuit it must say some things it probably just goes beep i mean it'd be nice if it, it actually did the standby for action sort of thing but i doubt it I, I imagine it probably just goes beep 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 we won't know until we throw a battery on that so um that'll be one of the first things i do when we start assembling it so that's that's the um what's in there so we'll get to that in the instructions now let's Pretty well where we start, we start by putting those, um, those, those few tabs there into the underside. Uh, so I showed you that beginning. The underside is all ready for batteries because you there is a version without any electronics. And um, that would explain why there's different packaging actually for the lower part of the hull to the upper part. Uh, they were actually slightly different bags and one, one set of bags were vacuum sealed. The other set is the, um, the option with the batteries they were stapled together so that just shows you they, uh, they do have a couple of different versions of this so if you're looking around and you want the one that you can float in your bathtub and make lots of noise and basically blow bubbles this is the one now um, so yeah you're basically very simply just assembling in and creating the um, contact points there for the batteries and wiring the switch in in goes the switch uh, it's all pretty obvious right then we're going to have to go to the middle of this um, then you're working on the impeller and you put one of the LEDs in the impeller. It doesn't really tell me. Well, it may in 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 Japanese tell you which one to use, red or blue, but it's probably blue, I would say, for impellers. Impellers are blue, aren't they? Yes. Blue blue would be a good colour for this one. So we'll, we'll go with blue. Yes, we'll go with blue. Uh, now this is where they had the, the problem, these two characters are back to front, so who knows. We'll have a look at that and we'll just check that we're not going to put the wiring in, ask them out face. Although at this low voltage it probably wouldn't really wreck it, it just wouldn't work. So it would be important to know, to make sure that it does do its ping, you know, the machine that went ping. There's your batteries, they just say, they have a, a weird thing, they say, what what is it? It's um number threes, two number threes, so it'll probably be, you know, a's or double a's something that'll be fairly easy to figure out now the um interior oh, there isn't any there isn't any that's it that's your interior there you go <laughs> and on top of that will sit the clear part that they have if you want to use that and initially i might do that um but what my plans would be as i did with the thunderbird 4 quick pick here when I built Thunderbird 4, I researched everything and I built the entire interior, scratch built it. So I do the same with this one. I'm quite happy to do that. I'd scratch built as much interior as you can see through, um, through the windows. The, um, now there's quite a lot of windows, so there's quite a lot of scope there 
we'll be able to see something at least. I mean, at least get the uh, the main seats where um where, where Troy and Phone sit, and um, oh, I've got to have room for Marina. Marina. Yeah, do you know that? Oh. I might try and see if I can find the song and play it at the end. Yes, Marina. Not on the banjo, don't worry. There will be more banjo music, but not today. I'm still a bit crook. Are you watching Facebook, you know, I'm looking at Facebook, you know I've been a bit crook this week. I haven't done any modelling on the bounty or anything. Anyway, I, I digress. Um, you've got veins here, which will be going in shortly. Uh, I think I've jumped ahead to that. Oh, well, they're sort of coming up anyway. So that's your interior, it doesn't exist. That goes in there. You've got veins here which go on the side and they're connected to each other so they will work in tandem that's rather nice then they've got this little connector here which goes to the um the periscope which is um there the periscope and then on top of that well it's, it's hardly a periscope really because it has a radar dish on it <laughs> so look it's kids science fiction from the 1960s jerry anderson you know it doesn't really make a lot of sense um but anyhow that Connecting to that would probably imply as the veins go up and down something happens with that and I would say Looking from the slot in here, which is not a circular hole for this periscope thing But a slot I'd say that goes back and forth and when you do that your veins turn up and down So that's a bit dicky, but um, we'll probably We'll probably put some card and clean that all up and completely change it because we might actually motorize this so that I can turn the vanes and spin the impeller and all that sort of thing. Um, so moving along instructions, well you've got these things here, you've got a rudder and you've got some pontoons. Well you know, that's all well and good. Um, they may work nicely as a stand, we'll see. And I don't know if the real, well real, the, the studio, the one that was actually used in the TV series, I don't know if it has that little rudder. We'll see if it does, I'll put it in. But these, well who knows, I don't remember it ever having those. But I have actually ordered the um, DVD box set. Yes, research material. <laughs> I've kind of been watching the pirated versions on YouTube, but um, I've, I've ordered and paid for to the Jerry Anderson um, shop online. Yes, didn't buy it off Jerry, of course, he's dead, um, you know. But um, it might be one of his sons or relative or someone just coincidentally has the same name. But somebody called Anderson sent me a lovely email going, thank you for buying stuff. You know, it's terrific stopping us from going bankrupt. <laughs> Ah, oh, the poor buggers. They must be finding it hard these days. But anyhow, look, we still love you. We still love you. We still love Jerry Anderson and all of his creations. The Thunderbirds and the J90 and the Fireball XL. Oh, you look, if you're into it, you know what I'm on about. If not, you just go, huh? What's this dickhead talking about? It's bad enough that he plays the banjo and waffles on a complete freaking wombat. But what is he doing with toys? Well, listen here, mate. You think your, your, your tank and your aeroplane and your battleship is not a toy? It is. All this stuff was toys originally, right? This is what it was back in the 50s and 60s. These were toys for kids. And then basically all us baby boomers got old, like me. We all got very old and we could afford airbrushes. <laughs> and basically all that's happened is over the years, over the half a decade or so, that's um, half a decade, half a century since um, this stuff sort of all started. Well, um, basically our schools have got better and we, you know, lots of people have got very serious about it and it's become a hobby and a craft. But originally it was just toys for kids. Yeah, there you go, you're building toys. So don't schnick your nose up at this, it's still a model. Um, pontoons, yeah, okay, you can put the fins on, that's very good. There's a little periscopey thing with the radar I just talked about. And there's your instructions for printing for painting. And that's all you get. You just get this tiny little diagram here. And it doesn't really tell you much. It's got H in front of some numbers. Um, but basically, look, I know the colours. Um, they're, they're pretty obvious. I can get them off the photos of this. It's blue, it's yellow, and the rest of it's sort of a, a silvery white, you know. <laughs> Real easy. Not a problem. <laughs> Um, and that's it. And then they basically here, you, you put your little batteries in of some indeterminate size and away she goes. A little switch here, you switch on and things happen. Things light up and things go. I'll probably add more LEDs to this um, because basically it lends itself it lends itself to quite a lot of adaption. So, you know, this is just a starting point. Um, but I can't see any reason why I couldn't put a little motor. There's plenty of space in there and get the impeller to spin because I know some people radio control these and again um, put a little actuator so that I can have my veins go up and down as opposed to popping on my forehead like they do most of the time around here and bass knocks things off the shelf. So there's a lot of potential in this silly little kit 
and it's as rare as hen's teeth and I'm so chuffed to have it and as sick as I've been this week I've been quite happy to make this video just to show it off with you because it's it's it has cheered me up no end all right well that's that's basically it I, I hope you enjoyed that that's basically Jerry Anderson's stingray as modeled by um Doyusha all right um, I'll probably get in trouble for not saying that correctly but anyhow never mind it's the best I can do with my you know with my occidental sort of um you know tongue okay that's it I'll go back to bed bask maybe some chicken soup it's goodbye from Australia and it's Huru from Harry Houdini. Mm -hmm.